Welcome to our 2023 Fleet Safety Awards. In addition to telling you what you can anticipate and expect from this year's Fleet Safety Awards, we're also using the opportunity to interview some of last year's participants and category winners. With that in mind, we have Bobby Shemins, who is with Imperial Logistics. So we're going to invite him on screen and we're just going to pose a few questions to him. Bobby, thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thank you, Eugene. Bobby, I couldn't get your full designation right. I don't want to give you credit for something that you don't do, but I would hate to tell people what you do not do. So just tell us what your overall responsibilities are at Imperial. Surely. Um, Eugene, my title is Vice President, um, Health, Safety, Sustainability and Environment um, at Imperial Logistics at the Road Freight Management Division. So that's quite a mouthful. Thank you. So after that, you'll appreciate why I just referred to it from Imperial Logistics. All right. So let's kick off with the first question. Last year, why did you enter your company? Jim, employer recognition and achievements um, is quite a big deal at Imperial. Um, the Master Drive Fleet Safety Award provided that opportunity to showcase our talent, um, and especially also in the category of supervisors, um, which are often in many settings overlooked. Yeah, and, and I'm glad you as a company, and I know from other dealings with yourself, that you have a very far-sighted view with regard to road safety. And, and personally, I'd like to thank you for that. Just think about uh, where we are now in 2023. And by the way, our prizes have increased significantly categories. Why would you recommend that any company, or indeed fleet manager for that matter, which they can win up to 48,000 Rand, why would they enter? Why should they enter? The Master Drive Fleet Safety Awards provided a, a industry-wide platform for us. Um, and it's also an ideal platform to, to showcase our top talent. Um, and that's exactly what we did last year. Um, and getting our employees, especially that supervisory positions, to feel appreciated and, and maybe get some motivation as well, um, just, just by being there. Yeah, I'm glad that you, you shared that because, you know what, when we look at what's been done in the space of road safety, I think you and I would both agree that more responsibility rests on corporates. Whilst we're not critical of what government is doing, the, the minister has got such a wide portfolio of services. We, however, who operate in the freight and logistics industry can do something good. So with that in mind, let's think about these awards. Do you think by introducing some, something such as this, um, it plays a part, and if so, what part, in changing attitudes with regard to road safety? You know, I'm a, I'm a strong believer in, in positive reinforcement and recognition programs. We've seen many of such a program work in Imperial. Um, in fact, we've got several programs driving uh, human behavior and especially driver behavior. Um, I've no doubt that similar programs, um, having, having my understanding and experience in, in past programs in the context of Imperial will absolutely be beneficial and successful, especially in the road transport space. It's um, it's an absolute a need or necessity currently in the road transport space. We've seen we've seen horrific incidents um, in in our country on our roads. Uh, we're navigating through challenging times, um, and and any any form of re recognition that can change behaviour um, is absolutely welcomed in in this industry. Thank you for that, Bobby. Now, considering that we've expanded the, the, the categories, by the way, we're giving recognition for different categories, light, medium, and, and heavy commercial vehicles. We also included a um, best truck stop, and we've got employer of the year, and we also introduced a, a subject that we were asked to do, road warrior. Now, this, in my mind, epitomizes everything that a driver should or could do to show that they have road safety in their heart as their why of existence. So there's a number of categories that we, we will be asking people to participate in. So given that background, what message would you like to share with participants who, who are entering this year? What take home point would you like to give them? Yeah, I think as mentioned in my previous point, um, we had a tough year behind us. Um, we are navigating through especially challenging circumstances. We've seen um, a lot of influences on, on the business. We've seen a lot of unrest situations. We've been navigating through some challenging weather conditions this year. Um, 
just being nominated, Eugene, is is already an achievement. And yeah. my message to to the nominees this year is is well done. You, you are excellent. Just just being part of this. Um, enjoy the journey and good luck and all the best and and thank you for making a contribution um, in this time. Yeah. Yeah, Bobby, I can't help it but agree. And I do trust that entrance this year. And by the way, we've seen a significant jump already. Last year, this time, we had fewer of 50 and we well just under 200 at the moment. So I'm personally aiming for 500. So please share this with any of your divisions. We'd love them to enter. And it's a nice opportunity to put the, the, the subject of road safety on, on the table. Finally, anything you'd like to add? Yeah, yeah, sure, Eugene. Um, for you, Vishani and the team at Master Drive, uh, just keep on keeping on. Um, you guys are already busy with another initiative that that can make a massive impact in in, in the industry. Um, your passion uh, on saving lives um, is, is starting to pay off. Um, it's creating an excitement and a vibe within the industry. And and thank you for 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 letting us in um, into this very special and exciting. Um, uh, Fleet Safety Awards uh, journey. So thank you for that. Thank you for those kind words, but it's I that should be thanking you. And with that note, uh, we'd like to say goodbye to you, Bobby. We look forward to having you join us. It's at Auto Mechanica. We will give you the final times, but we trust that you're going to be there. And I sincerely hope that you're one of the finalists. Until we meet again, Bobby, you take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So that, folks, brings us to the end of our discussion with Bobby on why they entered, uh, why Imperial entered the Fleet Safety Awards. And it's not too late. Entries close on the 18th of July. So please put your name down, be, be reminded of the categories. And if you've got a driver in particular that you would like to nominate for Road Warrior, make sure you enter. And with that thought, until we see you again, thank you and take care.